Hey, this is Pat with the product testing team, and today we are checking out the Delta IV leather perforated race pants from Dionese. Now, I am a fan of these pants, especially considering when you think of the upgrades that we've seen from the Delta Threes while going down in price. These are coming in at the $520 price point, which is $10 down from the Delta Threes from 2017. So I like that already right out of the gate, and this is aimed at you sport or track riders out there. If you're racing around in the canyons, or if you're going out to your first track day, you can add a top half of, say, a Dionese Racing 4 leather jacket to these pants to make a full, complete race suit. Before we get too long-winded when it comes to the features, though, I have Spurgeon here on my left-hand side. He is wearing a size 56. That is correlated very accurately to the size chart. He measures his waist around 39 inches, typically wears a 36 in his jeans, and actually typically wears a 56 in Dionese. So these are fitting spot on, a little bit tight around the uh, thighs and around the calves is what you want in a leather race pant. And we would have liked to see maybe a little bit more height in the rear yoke, but I'll talk about that when we get to the back. Only come in this black color, and it ranges from sizes up to 44, up to 64 in their line. So a lot of sizes out there if you're considering the Delta IV for your ride. When we look at overall features, you're looking at a 2-2 cowhide main construction with localized perf throughout, CE AA when it comes to abrasion, and CE Level 1 Pro Shape armor at the hip, which is non-removable, and you get CE Level 1 composite armor at the knees. That would actually be one of my gripes, uh, one of the very few gripes that I have with these pants. I would love to see in they upgrade that armor just in general across their line. The composite armor is just a hard candy shell over foam. Would have been nice to see something new moving forward, especially with the armor industry advancing so much. Starting up at the waistline up top, we do have a snap and zipper main entry. Doesn't cause too much bulk. It's actually very simplistic, which is great. In the full tuck, you don't want anything bunching up. So I like that Dionese went ahead and streamlined that. You have the perforated leather down the start of the crotch, like I mentioned before, and it is localized perf, so none of those perforated holes go towards the seams. That's a liability when it comes to any slide or anything like that. So they went ahead and removed that possibility by just keeping it inside the leather there. S1 bioelastic stretch from the crotch comes up to the upper thighs, and you get more, uh, a, more perforation when it's running down the middle of the thigh to the accordion stretch, which we can see just above the knee. It looks a little bunched up here just because the Spurgeon is standing upright, but as you can see, thank you very much, in the tuck or in the full riding position, you're gonna have a lot of space, a lot of movement at the knees, so it is great to have there. They do have sliders included. It's a new RSS 4.0 sliders from Dionese that is removable on the outside. Can pop it off, but the base stays in place so you can replace it so there's no fumbling around trying to make sure you're getting it in the right spot. Spurgeon, go ahead and face to the side for me. Up at the waistline, you do have a Velcro adjuster with a soft elastic behind it. I like the addition of that soft stretch elastic under there. Just reduces bulking if you do have to cinch it down, which we had to with Spurgeon here. It does reduce that so you're not getting any bulking, uh, bulky material, again, in that full tuck position. Get a good glimpse of that full circumference zipper that runs all the way around if you want to connect it to a Dionese jacket. And then you can see the Dionese uh, stitch logoing running down the thigh. And one thing I wanted to point out is the pop of blacked out reflective on the outer thigh. This is actually something that we asked for Dionese to update on the last edition. It was up the rear yoke, just wasn't that visible, especially if you had a jacket on. It wasn't super visible on a sport bike, so having it out on the outer knee actually just helps it be more visible in traffic. Spurgeon, you go ahead and face to the back for me. Top half here, you see that raised rear yoke. We would love to see it a little bit higher just for a little bit more coverage. And then you get the accordion stretch at the upper seat. Now the seat is one thing I definitely want to talk about because it's an improvement that I saw that I really like that Dionese did. On the last version, the Delta 3s, that was a single layer of 2-2 cowhide across the seat. They went ahead and doubled the thickness of that leather. Usually we like to see a very thick leather or two layers of leather just because it's a very high sliding abrasion zone. You want to make sure that is fully reinforced. So I like that addition from Dionese. You can see all the stretch coming out of the crotch that we saw from the front, going down the back of the thighs with a super soft stretch material at the back of the knee. And you have two zippers at the back. One is just the entry zipper. The other is an expansion in case you wanted to put these, say, over top of Dionese's in boots and hide that boot away on the top half. Spurgeon didn't do that here. We just have them out boots on this one, but you do have that possibility if you want to do so. Spurgeon, you can go ahead and spin around to the front for me. So there you have it. The Delta 4s, in my opinion, are a great upgrade from the Delta 3s that I think they can still make some improvements on. Dionese, if you're listening, like I said, at the knee, that would be fantastic, but a great option for anybody out there riding in the canyons or getting out to an occasional track day. 
But if you have any other questions, feel free to click that info button. That's going to take you over to the product page. You can read other rider reviews and see what other riders are saying about the Delta Fours. If you still have questions, feel free and reach out to our customer service team. They're all riders and happy to help make sure you're all set for your next ride. I want to thank you for joining Spurgeon and I and taking a look at these Delta Four leather race pants from Dainese. I'm Pat, and I'll see you in the next video.